are run today we will check the security of a buffer clock as you can see here they came in a large variety of sizes from 20 millimeters up to 40 millimeters and they are usually used in offices or uh, office boxes and they are easily picked meaning that I'm, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see but they should have uh, pins on both sides at left and right uh, as you can see the key here this is the wrong key apparently so as you can see the key it has it on, on both ends but the thing is uh, the friction pins are only on one side so let's see how easily we can pick one of these locks this one will be a bit harder to pick because it's stiffer this is again the wrong key so this one is stiffer and well oh, come on where's the key it will be harder to, to be picked since you have to apply a lot of force on it and on the pins and for this type of locks we will need to use the snowman pick it's called this way because it looks like a snowman and we also need some type of pliers to apply the tension so as i said before the teeth are only the pins are only on one side and this is the side you can move easily and the other side is just black pin it doesn't have anything so you have to watch out for for the side that has a moving pin so let's start by applying some tension and let's try to engage the pins it's hard to focus because my, my camera is in a weird position so now I'm applying more force than needed that's why it takes a little longer it's also quite, quite hot these days that's why I almost came up on this one because I applied too much force and usually this is not recommended when, when picking locks okay so the tension let's try again i have my hand in front of the camera it's a really hard position to pick on and this specific lock requires more tension than others and you'll see at the end why is that This is also the reason why it's so stiff. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. Okay. So we have the first one. You'll need the snowman tool because it's stiffer than others. Others can be can be picked also with some hairpins and I will I will show you this in some moments. So let's check the, the next one. This is also a 30 millimeter, I think. Let's check firstly the position. Okay. We are tensioning it and using the same snowman pick. Mm -hmm. It's open. Let's try the same thing with a, a hairpin. It won't be as fast as with a snowman, but it's just a hairpin, so you have to bear with me. I think I have to use both hands because it's it's too flimsy with just one. Mm 
my hands are quite shaky, like always. I'm doing a little bit of tension. We might be able to pick this one. I'm losing my patience now. So, you can just uh, take a break whenever you are feeling like you can pick a lock. Take a deeper breath, take a uh, rest, maybe come back the next day. Because playing too much tension won't go anywhere. And there we go. Wait, just a hairpin. So this is how unsafe these locks are. Just keep that in mind. And I have another one. This one is 20 millimeter, I think. And for this one, I don't even have a key. We are not sure at this moment on which side it will rotate, but we can try both sides. And first with the snowman tool, and it seems that this is not the correct side, so we will have to try in the other way. And yes, it's open now. It's just a matter of seconds. Let's try it with the. The nail pin, oh, sorry, the, the hairpin on this one also. And using these pins, I think it, it's just matters how gentle you are with them. Because as I said, applying too much force, it won't open the lock. But you will press some pins you don't need to. Okay, so we have two pins. It was less than I, one minute, I guess. So this type of locks, the waffle locks, are quite insecure, I could say. Again, this is the snowman tool, the snowman pick that was used. Let's see why this one was so stiff. And I'm again opening up. I have just one screw in the back. I put an extra washer because it was kind of flimsy. Okay, so this is the main part of the lock. And we will extract the core using the key, which again is the wrong key. I have to label those keys. So I have to twist just a, a half of round and I can take it out. And you have to be careful because the safe pin will fly around. And on this specific one, the safe pin is the last one. You can see it now. Oh, I got it. So basically this is why it's so stiff that the safe pin is taller than others and it's just pressing on a channel and I just lubricated before this video as you can see I have a lot of oil on my my fingers so it, it should be smoother but I think it, it's a, let's say a safety feature because it's harder to pick when it's it's stiffer but uh, for vlog sport point of view, it's not so good, but it somehow makes it safer. Okay, let's assemble it back. So I will have to use something pointy. Okay. 
anything. Another picture to the job. You just have to press down on it in order to align it with the channel. There we go. Now we can push it back in place. Tightening up, and that's pretty much it. It's working as expected with the same key because we do, didn't lose any pins. So let's try to pick it again. But since we didn't modify anything, it will be on the same level. It will be quite hard to be picked and I need to be careful because I don't want to strip the, the screw screw threads okay using the stone tool it's the same thing it's different than than the others that's why it's harder to be picked but it it's also under one minute so So as you can see, my final thoughts for this, it needs a, a secure lock to be used. This type of locks are, are cheap and not safe at all. So this was under half of minute, I think. And this is the safest one. This is the hardest one to be picked, so... Yeah. Hope you have enjoyed this video, and go stay away for this type of vlogs. And keep on picking. See you in the next video. Cheers.